hello students today we are going to learn about the spreadsheets that is our microsoft excel files okay so in that we can store the huge amount of data and we can modify the data as well as we can apply various functions on uh, that particular data so in that particular uh, spreadsheets and nothing but the excel files which are also called as a workbooks so whenever we start a new project in the excel you just need to create a new workbook in that so there are several ways to start working with the workbook in excel so we can choose a, a, a create a new workbook either with a blank workbook or a pre designed template which is already available there or open an existing workbook so we can uh, open any or uh, one of them okay there are three options for opening a new workbook so we'll uh, see how to create a new blank workbook so first of all we need to select the file tab after opening our microsoft excel then it will appear uh, it will just show us uh, the backstage view from that we have to select the new option and then click on the blank workbook option okay so that will allow us to create a new blank workbook after creating uh, the new workbook the next is how can we open uh, an existing workbook which we have already created and later we want to view that particular workbook so we just uh, we just need to go to the backstage view that means also we can uh, choose the home tab from our ribbon and then click open option then we have to select the computer then click the browse option alternative uh, alternatively if we can also use the drive if we have uploaded our file on the drive we just need to select the location where the workbook has been stored and then after say, selecting that particular workbook we just need to click okay then that workbook file will get open on our microsoft excel excel okay then next is editing a workbook so how can we edit a particular workbook if we have entered data in our excel file and later on we want to edit that data so that modifying or adding text or using cut copy paste operations to an existing document is nothing but the editing so to edit data in a worksheet first we have to open the worksheet by using the uh, file tab and then open option then next we have to move the cursor to the particular cell in our excel in which we want to edit then we just need to note one thing that the content of the cell is displayed in a formula bar as as well okay so whatever the cell we uh, we are selecting so the content of that cell will get displayed on the formula bar as we perform any operation so it is visible in the formula bar we'll see in the example as well the next is cut cut operation so in this it uh, just uh, move the content from one location to another location so deleting unnecessary data from the cell is called as cutting so in microsoft excel we can cut text from one area of a worksheet and save or paste that text anywhere on that particular excel uh, excel sheet or on another excel sheet so when we cut the text it is stored on the clipboard it is copied to the clipboard then from that clipboard we can just paste it to anywhere so if we want to cut any text or content from the worksheet first select the text or the content which we want to cut so to cut there are two options that means we can uh, use uh, the mouse buttons as well as we can use the keyboard shortcut keys so to cut with the help of the mouse we just need to right click and then choose the cut option and for the shortcut keys we have to just press control plus x okay so here, here we can see we just first need to select the cell in our excel file that we where we want to do the modifications then we just need to uh, right click on the particular cell and then from the listed options we have to select the cut option okay next we'll see the copy copy makes the duplicate copies of that particular content 
so that can be again pasted to any location so for one content there there can be multiple copies so instead of retyping the same text copy function is used which reduces the time as well as the efforts so by using this copy option we can copy the text from one location to another location information stored on the clipboard stays there until new information is either cut or copied so to copy the content again there are two options with uh, by using the mouse or by using the keyboard so for uh, for mouse we can use just need to right click then choose the copy option which is uh, 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 basically we can see in the picture as well then shortcut key that is control plus c first after selecting the cell which we want to copy then we just need to right click and then after clicking right we can see the options that is copy so we just need to select the option copy next is to paste option okay so after uh, cutting the particular content or copying the particular content we need to paste it somewhere at another location so this paste option is used to paste that particular content to another location so for that first of all we need to select the text okay then first we need to copy the text then we have to use the uh, mouse to move the cursor to the desired position to paste the copied text where we want to paste our text then we have to click the paste to insert the copied text in it new location so we can just paste the clipboard information which is copied or uh, basically we use the cut option then to paste again there are two options that is by using the right click and the paste option and by using the shortcut key that is control plus v so for uh, pasting a particular information we just need to select the destination cell where we want to paste our data okay then we, we have to select the paste option from the ribbon as well there are uh, options are given and we just need to paste that data so that will be pasted in your new location next is how to insert or delete rows and columns in your worksheet so to insert and delete rows and columns in an existing table the position we just need to position the cursor either before after or above the spot where we want to insert or delete Okay, so we just need to uh, uh, put our cursor at the place where we want to perform this deletion or insertion. So for that we just need to uh, choose the right click and then from that we need to select whether ins we, have, we have to insert or delete it. So suppose we want to insert the column to the left. After finishing our table contain if we are entering any kind of data in, our, in the table. So in case we want to insert a column on the left hand side of a particular column we may use the following steps like such as we need to first place the cursor where we want to insert a column in that table then we need to right click then we have to choose the option insert column to left okay so we just uh, here in this picture you can see first of all we need to select a cell after that we have to right click and select the insert option again for the insert option it will gives us the choices that is select the column to the left or right okay um, so here we have to choose the select column to the left option okay after that we can see here the column has been inserted to the left of the selected column so new column has been added next is to change how to change the font of the worksheet content so by default the font of the new workbook is set to Calibri so however this excel provides many other fonts that we can use to customize the cell text so we can format the uh, title cell to help distinguish it from the rest of the worksheet to make it more highlighted one so here we just need to select the cell that we want to modify suppose in this example we have selected the webinar training log text which we want to change so we just need to click the drop down arrow just next to your font command on the top of your uh, excel uh, in the home tab the 
font drop down menu will appear so we just need to select the desired font that we want to apply for our text a live preview of the new font will appear as you hover the mouse over different options so in our example we'll choose the georgia font okay so there are options we can we can see in this particular figure picture that is several font options are given over there so the text will change to the selected font okay whatever the font will apply for that text the resulting text we can just see in the few seconds whenever we are creating a workbook in the workplace you just uh, will uh, want to select a font that is easy to read along with the calibri the standard reading for fonts include such as the cambria times new roman and so on many uh, font options are available next is how to change the font size okay for changing the font size we just need to select that particular cell on which we uh, want to apply the modifications okay so after selecting that particular text we just need to uh, just change the options okay that is the size of that particular font whatever the size we, whether we want to increase or decrease the size of that particular text thank you